hi guys welcome back to my channel so on today's video i'm going to be talking about how to get some volume at the roots and how to help avoid flat roots so you might want to go and give that a good watch and um, i'm going to be giving you some tips and also it might be just something simple that you're doing with your hair that is causing it to be flat so go and give it a watch and don't forget to like and subscribe. The first thing that I recommend is to make sure that you clarify your hair if you haven't done for a while. Because you want to get rid of that build up of hair oil and hair products on your hair because that can cause flat roots. So I've applied my leave-in already and I'm going in with my gel and don't be afraid to go right to the top. Uh, obviously don't get it on your scalp because that can cause a product build up but obviously you don't want frizzy roots or undefined poofiness which can also cause your hair to be flat on top. So after applying all my product to my hair, I like to section my hair and I like to define my hair with a brush. Uh, it's up to you whether you want to use a brush, but this is the method that I prefer and also it helps um, to cause less frizz to my hair. And as you can see, I'm bringing the brush up and out so um, I'm getting that volume in at the roots and I'm scrunching up to each part that I do as well. So you can see that on this next section, I'm just dragging it down. Look, I'm not bringing it up and look how flat the roots are compared to this side. Definitely makes a difference to bring it up and out. And then I just go through all my sections. I've sped this video up because it's very boring to watch me just do the same thing. Um, but make sure that I go up and out at the back as well. It's very important as well to make sure that you do your back of your hair. It can be a bit tricky, but I feel like sectioning it really helps. So I usually split my hair into three sections, so as you saw I did my bottom section and then this is my middle section. But you can do it as many sections as you want depending on the thickness of your hair. Uh, but as you can see I've left the top bit and this is where I'm going to get most of my volume in my hair by this top section. So I'll leave that crown bit till last. And this method that I do now I actually learnt it from Mains by Mel and it's called the Brick Lane Method. So you just kind of bring the top bit up and out and then you get each side bits like a like you would layer bricks um, and then it just kind of gets that flexible structure really on top and you can already see the root volume that I'm getting on top here and also when I'm bringing each piece of hair up and out at the back I'm kind of just giving it a little shake with my hand as you can see in a minute giving it a little shake and then letting it fall how it wants to fall it's better that you don't have a parting as well if you're wanting volume and uh, body at the roots because otherwise if you have a straight parting right down the middle it causes flat root. But I must admit I do like a bit of a parting myself so watch how I do the front. I do like my um, face framing pieces so I'm just going to speed this up a little bit and then I'll show you how I do the front. I do take a bit more than I usually do actually. I usually leave a bit more uh, at the front than this. Um, so you can see that it is a bit tricky when I'm starting to get that little front part in and kind of taking a little bit more from the back there. So here are my face framing pieces now. And if anything looks a bit wonky, I'll just uh, fix those pieces as well while I'm at it. And I'm just going to show you here the root volume already and look how far it curls up. And I like to get my gel again after styling and I like to glaze over it to avoid any more frizz and also I use the gel to have a good scrunch up with it and uh, as you can see I don't just scrunch the bottom because that's not going to do my roots any good. I bring it all the way up to the top, tilt your head to the side and just bring it up to the top and then I just give a good scrunch either side for quite a while. Scrunch, 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 don't be scared of scrunching and look at the difference already to that side compared to that side. Also, I feel like I have more volume when I flip my head upside down as well and give it a good scrunch. So I just flip it up and just scrunch away as well. And again, you can see all that volume it does make a difference to flip your head upside down and give it a good scrunch. Now if you want to you can use a clip, a claw clip or one of these alligator clips um, to do your front. You can put quite a few in if you want, I just like to do one in the middle um, and that really helps as well with the volume at the front but I don't leave mine in all the way through. And instead of just standing there, standing straight up, 
I tilt my head to the side and then it can dry easily getting that flexibility in there and also it's not just flat to my head. Also flipping my head upside down is going to get a lot of volume in there uh, and you'll see throughout this video as I'm drying my hair that I'm just kind of flipping my head all about all the time, flipping it to each side um, and up and down all the time. I'm just not stood it in one position, I'm not bringing the hair dryer up. I'm just getting that flexibility in there and making sure that it's all dried all around. And as you can see what I'm doing here is I'm bringing the diffuser up and right up to my scalp as well that'll get some volume in there. And I really do prefer diffusing my curls because that's where I get all my volume from and being able to do these little things really adds that little bit more extra volume and also it makes my curls more bouncy compared to air drying. Then when my hair is around 70% dry that's when I remove my alligator clip and then I can dry that part as well because otherwise I can't dry it properly with the clipping. And here as you can see using that clip it has really helped with the volume at the front of my hair. Then I just diffuse the rest of my hair without the clip and it takes so long to diffuse it takes me like 25 minutes. How long does it take you? Let me know in the comments. Then my final trick for getting volume in there is to get this large comb, you can use a pick, I was looking for my pick but I couldn't find it so I got this large comb which works just as good. And as you can see I'm just lifting up the hair and that will help me to dry my roots properly as well and to just get that little bit of extra volume in there. And then finally it is dried and these are my final results. Look at that volume and look at the curls from the root. There's no flat roots here. Look how it curls. No weird parting either at the back from doing that sectioning really helps as well. So you get no weird partings and look at that volume in there. I really hope that this video has helped you and I hope that it helps you to stop having flat roots and for your hair to curl more at the root. And if it has, make sure that you like and subscribe for more.